Bam. Bam. Hello, everyone. I'm Katana. I'm the Lightning Cat. No, you're not. No, 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 no. You're not. More drama on YouTube. And and Markiplier's popping it up this time. Let me check it out. Take a look. Let's watch. There's more. Oh, they should do XYZ differently. I am talking about a fundamental problem with the website itself. And this isn't just about me. I'm not making this video because I think that I'm being unfairly treated in any way, shape, or form. If anything, I'm in a really good position, but this is affecting a lot of people, and I think the reason for it needs to be brought into light. Now, if you were paying attention to YouTube, you probably noticed that last week, last Tuesday on October 16th, the website went down. Worldwide, for two hours, it went down, which has never really happened in YouTube before. I didn't notice. I was doing something else. I don't remember what, but I was doing something else. Wait, the 16th. Oh, yeah. I was on my way back home from being wrongfully imprisoned. For, and a lot of people wanted to know why, but I have a sneaking suspicion that I know exactly why. And it all comes down to one culprit, Google+. Plus. And I'm not just using Google+, Plus as a scapegoat, and it's easy to do that because it's a terrible thing that was forced on all of YouTube for no particular reason other than Google. Pause for flashbacks. Everybody, have your horrible, horrific flashbacks. Angry Joe, get your horrible flashback going. Um, who else? PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, get your horrible flashbacks going. Who else? There's more. Terror of Grace, get your horrible flashbacks going. Who else? Mike Jevons, get your horrible flashbacks going. <coughs> Great A. Andre, get your horrible flashbacks going. And that should be enough time for flashbacks. Wanted to. To give you a little history on Google, <coughs> why it's so deeply ingrained in YouTube, you have to go back to 2014 when Google decided that it was going to be mandatory for creators on YouTube to get a Google Plus account. You had to tie your YouTube channel in to Google Plus no matter what. It didn't matter if the service was good or that they cared about natural growth. They wanted to force it down people's throats so that... Okay. There's something else that's tied into that. And it's YouTube's advertising campaign. Hold up. Hold up. I just pop open a new tab. Um, go to my Gmail that's tied in through Google. <clears throat> Wait for it to frickin' load. Come on, load faster. Load that last 10% faster. Thank you. <clears throat> I clicked on the thingy, load it faster. I don't care what your problem is. Look, you old computer laptop, load faster. All right, here it is. Google AdWords Express. That bit right there. Hold on, there's more. And I figured, you know, Markiplier said something about this. I might as well throw in my three cents worth of crap. Okay, there you go. There you go. There's, there's the advertisement I made. I go to the dashboard of it. See? There it is right there. 
the ad goal. Take an action on my website. See that? And it's scheduled for any time and it's active. Uh, let's see. There's the, the views and the clicks. That's roughly a 10% uh, turnover. 10% of the people that view it actually click it. There you go. That's one of the uh, tetrary functions that's tied into Google Plus. So, if I take that out, and they're going to have to redo the advertising campaign system that they've got, they're going to have to redo a lot of it. So, <clears throat> AdWords Express is just going to become Google Ads. They attempted to enact that change for everything, you know, when Markiplier said they did on the 16th. But we're running into the same problem that Microsoft ran into where they tied the Xbox One servers into the 360 servers and they're so horrifically entangled that if they shut one down it fucks up the other. We're running into dumbasses doing dumb shit because the people who want them in charge only want them in charge because they like them. Uh, this, this ties into a Rick and Morty thing. Rick tells Morty that, uh, what, what was the exact phrase? Everyone wants the people they like to be right, which is why all of the celebrities and people in charge are dumb as fucking shit. I paraphrase that. Which is why all the celebrities are fucking retarded. Everybody wants the, the people they like to be the smart ones instead of the smart ones to be the people they like. See the problem that we're running into? The problem is not just with YouTube or Google Ads. It's, it's with everybody doing... It, it's everybody. It's, it's with the idiots wanting these people in charge because they like them as opposed to they're intelligent and wise enough to do the fucking job. So, Mark, you've noticed a symptom of the problem. <clears throat> Congratulations. You're, you're well on your way to becoming a Rick-level intellectual. And then, you know, after you get past that, you'll become me and my friend Joe's level of intellectual. You'll become so smart that you won't use big words anymore because they'll be beneath you. <clears throat> and you'll have realized that using all those big giant fancy ass fucking words doesn't make you more intelligent. It just makes you look like an asshole. And that's a life lesson that everyone should learn. So, here's what I guess is going to happen. They're going to keep fucking up trying to fix this mistake, that they're calling it a mistake. Then they're going to realize, okay, we can't fucking fix it, because in order to do that, we have to literally shut down the whole site for about a whole goddamn month, and nobody's going to get anything uploaded for a whole fucking month whole fucking month. They're going to realize that and they're, they're going to be like we're kind of fucked between a rock and a hard place here. So hey, um, everybody please share this video because you know, as opposed to me being a dickhead and saying you're all a bunch of fucking idiots I'm just saying here's the problem. Everybody wants the people they like to be in, in charge instead of the people who are intelligent and wise enough to do the fucking job properly from the beginning. 
Oh yeah, um, someone I know who's gonna agree with me, the YouTuber AVE. Ave, as Cody from Cody's Lab calls him. I definitely know Ave will agree with me. He's a Canadian genius. Because he doesn't use all those big fat and fancy words. He's far too intellectually appropriate to do that shit. But what else can I say? That's about it. That's all I wanted to get off of what Markiplier is saying. And Mark, you've been doing YouTube longer than I have. You should be able to come up with a solution that fast. I mean, come on, dude. My brain doesn't work the way it used to because of all the stress and problems that I've been through in the last few years. I mean, I was put in prison for defending myself. I mean, come on, dude. You haven't been through that. You should be able to come up with a solution that fast. It may not be the right solution, but you should be able to come up with one that fast. Everyone else, don't panic. This is not the end of YouTube like a lot of idiots are going to say. It's not. It really isn't. All YouTube has to do at this point is just tell everyone, okay, we're going to schedule an entire month of maintenance on everything. Please be patient. And then they have to get a bunch of people, a bunch of hackers, and pay them and get, uh, what is it, Ridley Scott? He's a fucking computer whiz, too. Get a bunch of people together and fix what they've unfixed? I'm not sure what to say it is. But to unentangle what they've entangled. Yeah, let's just go with fix what they've unfixed. That sounds simple enough. Fuck it, who cares? I've spewed words out the hole in my face. Maybe they made sense, maybe they didn't. I don't fucking care. Till next time, everybody. Fuck right off.